morning. Morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Hello, Jill. Good morning, good morning. And happy Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It is. Wow. This week is going by so fast. Is it Wednesday? It is, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Oh boy. So today we are doing lots of spine work and hips. It's going to be really fun. I hope for you guys. It's going to feel just lovely. So again, we always start about 9.05, so we have about four minutes to settle into our space, wherever that may be for you. You can still have a couple of sips of your tea or coffee. I'm drinking a nice Earl Grey this morning, super creamy. Added honey to it, and it's making my life right now. I'm really excited to move through the spine today. I went on like a lot of hill walks yesterday and like everything's just so right now. Everything feels very compressed. So I'm looking forward to loosening everything up with you guys. So I'm thinking um, this kind of works well where we do Mondays, it's more of like a full body. Wednesdays can be always like hips and spine and then Fridays can be more upper body, a little bit of spine also and then maybe like more of like the little extremities, little guys, wrists and ankles, maybe elbows and knees. I got some good feedback on that as well. So maybe we'll do that Fridays and that way we have a bit more of a schedule. But I'm open to whatever works for you guys. <laughs> Compression sucks. <laughs> Depends what kind of compression. I wish I could just like hang upside down somewhere. I'm like, just wrap my legs around a bar and just like hang upside down and flow. But until then, we'll have to do our spinal rolls to decompress. And those feel lovely as well. Another two more minutes. Also guys, look how I'm, I'm already getting my like little ankle work. This is how I am standing right now, or I guess sit kneeling starting to burn. <laughs> that was too lazy to get my ball today, so I have to do it this way. Let's see if I can balance on one leg. Ah, not yet. Not yet. We'll do the playful stuff tomorrow at 9 a.m. on my page. Mm-hmm. Low squats. I'm gonna put this a little higher. Sorry, I'm like fidgeting with this thing today. Sorry, guys. All right, one more minute and then we will get started. Today's practice is gonna start standing. I'm gonna have one more sip and then we'll get started. All right, so coming to standing position. Ooh, calves are burning. <laughs> um, let's start with our eyes closed today. So again, we're just gonna root down through our feet and then just kind of arrive to our space. So closing your eyes, relaxing your arms by your sides. Just arriving as you are without having to change anything without trying to sit up straight, just noticing your posture, noticing if you're standing proud or if you're a little bit more slouched and relaxed. Wherever you're at, it really does not matter. We're just observing right now to begin. And then we're gonna start to slowly pay attention to our feet, maybe wiggling your toes. 
and then opening up the toes nice and wide and really root them down into the floor. Feel the connection also through your heels and the ball of the foot. And then we're gonna start to work our way up the shins, up towards our knees. So starting to bring that awareness into your calf muscles. And just kind of like starting to root down a little bit strongly through the legs. Maybe see if you can pull up your kneecaps as you start to slowly engage through the quads. Maybe adding a little bit of external rotation, so almost like you're corkscrewing your feet into the floor, just to kind of pull them slightly, the knees slightly apart, just activating a little bit more through the legs. And we're gonna wake our way up through the glutes. Give each glute a little squeeze, just a little acknowledgement. And then from here, we're gonna start to come a little bit taller, so we're gonna start to lengthen through the torso. Again, staying nice and neutral so we're not trying to bring our ribs forward. We're just lengthening, lengthening, sitting proud. Chest up. And then here again, check to see what your shoulders are doing. Are they kind of creeping up towards your ears? Or can you just give them a little pull up towards your ears and then roll them all the way back and down. Let them set into their little pockets. Palms are going to face inward. Maybe start to extend through the fingertips. Start to activate through the hands. Moving up the forearms and up the arms into the shoulders. So just bringing that body awareness, starting to build a little bit of tension as we create length through the crown of the head. Chin should be parallel to the floor. Beautiful. Let's tune into our breath here, breathing in through the belly, allowing it to soften. And as we exhale, see if you can root down a little bit more, see if you can get a little taller. One more time, deep breath into the belly. Exhale, root down through the feet, grow a little bit taller. So now the whole body is nice and tense. From here, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, now we're going to soften the body. You're going to relax as you bring the chin forward. You're going to let the shoulders melt. We're going to move one vertebra at a time, slowly allowing the body to melt forward. Moving through the spine one vertebra at a time. I want your knees to stay soft. And just let everything hang forward, wherever that may be for you. Here, if you want, you can kind of start to rock forward and back. You can keep your eyes open, especially if you start to get dizzy. So we're just playing with our weight over our heels and then over our toes, just a little rock. Your hands can just gently relax towards the ground. If you want, you can also grab opposite elbows. With every exhale, see if you can soften a little bit more. Let's lower the arms, let go. Slight activation through the heels and the back of the legs as we start to slowly roll back up again. Keeping those glutes engaged. Finding the activation through the hamstrings. Keeping the head shoulders fully folded over as we work our way up the spine. Then when the whole spine has been stacked, that's when we start to slowly roll the shoulders back. Take our gaze forward. We're gonna continue with the chin. Turn your palms forward, and now you're growing tall, extending through the heart. Beautiful. Let's slowly come back to center. This time we're gonna inhale, reach our arms all the way up. A little bit more length. Exhaling, bring the arms by your sides. And again, lower through the chin, the shoulders. And again, nice and controlled and slow, you're gonna make your way down towards the ground again. Knees are still soft. From here, we're gonna trace a little semicircle around us. And then as we do that, we can start to slowly bend through the knees as well. So just nice, smooth little semicircle from left to right. You can get the knees involved in order for you to get deeper through that movement. Still softening through the shoulders and the head. A few more times. Let's come back to center. Take a deep breath in. 
Exhale, maybe sigh out. <sighs> Melt. One more time, deep breath in. And exhale, let it go. And let's start to activate the back line of the body. We're gonna start to slowly pull ourselves up. Absolutely no rush. You can close your eyes here if you're not dizzy. And just try to visualize each vertebrae. Slowly stacking one on top of the other. Staying in flexion until the rest of the spine has stacked. And again, when you're up, roll the shoulders back. Lift through the heart. Take your gaze up towards the ceiling. Turn the palms. Beautiful. And then slowly come back to center. We're going to do one more. This time we're going to only come up to the halfway point when we come up. So take a deep breath in. And then as we exhale, drop the hands, drop the chin, roll the shoulders. Let's make our way last time down to the bottom. From here, I want you to just start to play with your legs. So stay folded over, and then you're going to bend one knee, then the opposite. And your hands again, or just relax onto the ground. We're just bending and straining one leg, and then shifting to the other side. Trying to keep those heels planted. So you're just kind of pedaling out the feet here. Spine is still rounded. Just working through the hamstrings into our glutes. You might feel this through your calves as well, depending on how tight you're feeling. From here, we're gonna roll up only to the halfway mark. So start to slowly, slow the rounded spine. You're gonna basically slide until your hands come on top of the knees. Then when you Bring your hands to your uh, the top of your knees. From here, you're going to start to slowly bring the chest forward. We're going to lengthen the spine. You're going to stick that tailbone out. Pull the shoulders back. Keep your gaze on the ground. And you think about creating length from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Beautiful. And then keep pushing your hands into your thighs. Keep rolling the shoulders back. A little bit of activation here through the lats. And hold. Take a deep breath in, exhale, a little meltdown. Inhale, halfway lengthen. Exhale again, melt. So just kind of wading through here in this half folded position, slowly back lengthening. One more little spinal wave here. Take a deep breath in, lengthen, exhale, melt. Let the head go. Inhale, coming back to that halfway, holding it here. From this position, you're going to strain out that right leg, deep bend into the left knee. Beautiful. And then we're just going to open up to the right side. So a little rotation here through the spine. You can hold on either to that left shin or you can just have your left hand just kind of hanging in space. It's up to you. Slowly coming back to center, soft knees, and now we're going to go to the opposite side. So full straightening up through that left leg, bending through the right, stacking the shoulders, little rotation over to that left side. Beautiful. Slowly coming back to center one more time, soft knees, straightening out the right, bending through the left, push that hip back. See if you can get a little bit lower this time. Maybe touching the floor, maybe touching your ankle, your shin. Again, we're opening up to the right side. Nice straight line from that bottom arm up to the top through the fingertips. Beautiful. Slowly coming back to center, soft knees. Last time to the left. So deep bend through the right knee, push that left hip back again so you can get a little bit lower. Stacking the shoulders. Holding here, keep lengthening through the fingertips. Beautiful. And then slowly coming back to center, soft knees. I want you to let your belly and chest kind of just hang out onto your thighs here. And then from here, we're just going to start to slowly melt the hips towards the ground. And then extend them up as high as you can without losing contact with your chest and belly onto your thigh. And again, start to melt down towards the floor. My feet are just hip width apart. And then extend up. So as far as you can without coming up. 
So you just stay nice and relaxed. The spine can be rounded. We're just gonna do this a few more times. So start to slowly pull yourself into the floor. Activate, start to lengthen through the back line of the body. Extend those sit bones. Each time maybe building a little bit more. Lowering down again, lower down as much as you need to without the heels coming up. So these could be really small movements or again, if you feel like you have the mobility this morning, go a little bit deeper. We got two more times, drop the hips, extend the hips, toes contact, keep that belly and chest onto the thigh. One more time, drop the hips, and then extend the hips. Woo. Beautiful, and then from here, rolling up nice and slow, one vertebrae at a time. <sighs> All right, we're gonna go into uh, a little bit of spinal cars and then we'll take it to the mat. So again, from here, we can be standing. I want you to cross your hands over your shoulders. And from here, we're just gonna go into lateral flexion to begin with. We're just gonna go left to right. So again, I want you to squeeze the glutes, corkscrew those feet into the floor so we're nice and strong in our stance. Take a deep breath in, exhale, you're just gonna melt to the left side. Again, I'm squeezing that space between my rib and my hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, right side. So we're just going from one side to the other, little pendulum. Inhale. Exhale, left. Inhale, top. Exhale, right, we're gonna do that one more time. Each time, see if you can find a little bit more movement without forcing your spine. Inhale, center, lengthen. Exhale, melt to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. And just embrace these rolls, yes. You're great. And slowly coming back to center. Now we're gonna draw a little semicircle moving forward only. So I'm gonna drop to the left. From here, you're just gonna let the whole body or like the elbows kind of drive forward. Trace a little semicircle until we make it to the right side. And we just stay in flexion here. And same thing, that pendulum action. You're just moving left to right. So basically just lateral flexion and then that flexion forward. Beautiful. Keep moving side to side. So again, just drawing a little semicircle, moving forward only. A couple more. My glutes are still engaged so that there's no movement through the hips. Beautiful. And then slowly stay in the center, rolling up. Now we're gonna go and extend. So now we're gonna go into extension. From here, we're just gonna do a little twist to the right side, back to center. Again, here, I'm not trying to go into a back bend like this. I am actually just trying to extend, create lots of space and length in the spine with control. So I shouldn't be feeling this too much in my lower back. I should be really opening up through the thoracic spine. So again, we're just gonna gently roll left to right while we're in extension. My glutes, everything should be on to protect that low back. Inhale, center, exhale, little rotation. And again, it's not going to be a big movement here. Just keep rolling through, listening to your body. A couple more. Beautiful. One more time. Bring back to center. And now we're going to start to slowly draw that circle now from the back so you're going to go all the way back and up into flexion and then you're going to go back nice and tall flexion on the right so you're kind of just like matrix matrixing through if that's a word allow yourself to go into flexion so you can kind of come out of that extension and then go back around notice as i do this I'm not going back and driving my hips forward, so my hips stay exactly where they are, and I'm isolating that movement from the spine only. Keep going a little bit more. All the way through into lateral flexion and back into extension. Beautiful, and come all the way forward, and then rolling it all the way up. Perfect. We're going to go into a twist now. So 
I want you to take your right leg, you're gonna step it forward in front of the left. This is gonna help to stabilize our hips when we do rotation so that our hips don't come with us. So I want you to really stabilize, drive those feet into the floor, hips should stay forward. Imagine a little metal rod through them and then there's no rotation or movement. Arms come forward, take a deep breath in. As we exhale, squeeze the glutes, plant those feet. You're gonna rotate, nothing happening here. I'm rotating from the thoracic spine, reaching my right arm back, taking my gaze with it. And then again, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, almost like you're painting across the arm, across the chest, lengthening, take your gaze with it. No movement through my hips. Beautiful, three more times, we do this five times on each side. Take a deep breath in, reach, exhale, rotate. Ooh, my collarbone just cracked. Interesting, two more times. Inhale, exhale, paint across the body. Last one, inhale, reach. Exhale, across, notice my, my shoulders are relaxed, hold. Take a deep breath in as we exhale. See if you can start to tilt that right hand back. Little bit of extension again. Reach the left arm up. And back to center. Use that core nice and strong. Fold forward again. Not fold. Reach forward again. Lower the arms and we're going to switch sides. So now our left leg comes forward. Right leg goes back. Again, it's just like a nice close stance. Not, we're not doing the splits or anything crazy. Just find stability through the stance. That's the most important thing. Squeeze your glutes, lock the hips, core is nice and tight and engaged. Reach your arms forward, in line with the shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, paint across your body. Sometimes I like to imagine a specific color that I'm painting. It helps to make me feel better. And again, open. We are connecting this movement with our breath. So you wanna inhale here in the center, and then exhale as you paint and reach across. My gaze follows that hand. We got two more. Inhale, reach. Exhale, paint. And then last time, inhale. Exhale, come across, hold. Wherever that is for you, maybe you're here today. Again, we're all gonna be at different levels. We gotta own where we're at. Take a deep breath in. Exhale if it's available for you. Little tilt. Squeeze those glutes. Reach the right arm up. Left arm comes down. Now we're going to a bit more of a back bend. Again, be cautious. And slowly come back. Whoop, almost fell. And then bring those arms forward, lower down. Beautiful. We're just gonna do uh, two rounds of full uh, spine cars and then we'll go back to the mat. So just to kind of bring everything together. So again, crossing your hands over your shoulders, take a deep breath in, exhale, flexion forward. From here, you're gonna twist and rotate towards the right side. So again, hips stay where they are. Then we're gonna side bend. Then we're gonna find extension all the way back. Side bend to the left, find that twist or rotation as you drop the right shoulder down, come all the way forward, stay low, go back the opposite way right away. So twist to the left, side bend, come all the way back around, side bend to the right, twist towards that right side, and then complete that circle all the way forward, and then lift yourself up. Beautiful, one more time, take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop those elbows towards the hips, flexion. Rotate to the right, side bend to the right, come all the way back around, side bend to the left, rotate towards the left, come forward, stay low, going back home. So again, rotate to the left, side bend, come all the way around, over to the right side, bend, twist, come all the way forward, and then lift yourself up, relax the arms, shake it out. Again, here you can add a little twist, just let the arms go side to side, give yourself a little pat on the shoulders. Maybe you want to lengthen, reach all the way up, maybe stretch to the sides. So again, take this opportunity to kind of move 
Maybe you want to like wiggle through, kind of just like releasing tension. You can kind of look silly. No one can see you. You guys can just see me looking silly. So just kind of move the spine, stretch it out. Wherever there is that pent up tension that we kind of release, you want to just make sure it gets out of the body. Beautiful. And then we're going to make our way onto our mat. So from our mat, we're going to come into our tabletop position. Lower this. Perfect. Okay, so tabletop position. We're gonna go into a little bit of hip cars. So maybe first before we do this, just start to rock slowly forward and back, just for our wrists a little bit. Maybe drawing a couple of little circles around. Open up the fingers nice and wide. I'm just gonna draw a couple circles in one direction. Just kind of getting used to the weight over onto our wrists. Beautiful. And let's go the opposite direction. We're going to do a lot of uh, wrist stuff on Friday and ankles and everything else, but today we'll just do it quickly. And then again, coming back to center, we're just going to start to flip the hand around and then back and then other side. And just keep switching. If you want to go a little bit deeper, when it's flipped, you can start to slowly pull back, come forward, unflip, other side, pull back. Again, the closer your knees are, the more control you'll have here. Come back to center. Let's do a couple more. Pull back, forward, other side, flip it over, and back. Nice. And let's bring both of them flipped over. And then just gently moving side to side, forward and back. You can make some circles. Again, the closer that your knees are to your palms, the less pressure you'll have on that wrist. So just kind of working through this. Let's go the opposite way, circling the opposite way. Perfect. And slowly peel the hands off. Interlace your fingers. Just do a couple figure eights here. Woo change directions. Oh God, it's always hard when you go the other way. Not as smooth. <laughs> and shake out the wrists. Whee! Bring them up, bring them up. Looks so funny. Free hands. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to get back onto the mat. So as we're doing this, you still don't want to put all of your weight onto your hands. So you want to stay lifted, but you want to use your core. You want to use like the shoulder strength and whatever the opposite leg that we're not circling with. So don't just dump everything into your wrists. All right. So again, see I'm nice and tall. Wrists under the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We're gonna start with our little um, hip cars on the right side. So again, we're gonna start to pull the knee in towards the chest. Notice as I'm doing this, I'm not rounding through my spine or dumping down. So I'm gonna find a neutral position. That's why the core has to be nice and engaged. Drive the knee forward, up towards the chest. Then we're gonna open up the hip without dipping towards the left side. I can't go any further here. I'm gonna to start to add rotation. So I'm rotating as I find extension coming all the way back and then down. So we're just gonna go in the same direction for four and then we'll do the opposite side. So again, drive the knee towards the chest, open up that hip, squeeze that glute. I can't go any further here. Notice my ankle is in line with my knee. Then I start to rotate, ankle comes up around, I'm rotating through that hip joint. That's two, two more. Drive the knee up towards the chest, open up to the side, rotate it in that socket, come around. That's three, and again, last one, forward, open up. So again, the, hip, the circles don't have to be big, I want them to just be intentional. Beautiful, and now we're gonna reverse. So to reverse, you extend the hip, you're squeezing that glute nice and tight, you're opening up to the front of the hip, you're driving that heel up towards the ceiling. Then from here, you're going to externally rotate and then adduct and then abduct, sorry, and then you're going to come all the way in, meet underneath the chest. That's one, we got three more. So again, hip extension, squeeze that glute. Open it up so you're rotating, knee comes out to the side, keep it as high as you can without dumping into the other side, pulling it up towards your shoulder or elbow, beautiful, two more times, drive up, squeeze, open, 
Come around, Ooh, there's a crack there. One more time, extend up. Open, 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 open. Come around and then down. Beautiful. You need to relax the hands a little bit, give them a little shake. And we're gonna go to the other side. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the left. So again, we're gonna do four, where you pull the knee in towards your chest. From here, you're opening up towards the left side. And then we're rotating as we find extension, come all the way through, back down. That's one. Again, pull the knee up towards your chest. No movement to the spine. Open. The side's much tighter for me. I'm sure you guys can see. And come around. These are also good if you film them yourselves, just to kind of see where you're at, which ranges are limited, and then you can individually work through the space. Beautiful. Let's reverse. So again, hip extension, drive through that heel. Open up. As I'm opening, I'm trying to keep that ankle in line. I'm pulling in and around. That's one. Again, hip extension, squeeze that left glute. Open up, come all the way through. That's two. Two more. Beautiful, open. Pulling it all the way in. Last one, hip extension. Open up, rotate through, pulling it up just under the shoulder or the chest and down. Perfect. From here, we're gonna take our seat. We're gonna swing the legs around. We're gonna go into our 90-90 fun stuff. Okay, so again, here you're gonna reach your arms back. You're gonna open up the legs nice and wide, about shoulder width is good. And you're just gonna drop the knees from one side to the other in the beginning without turning your chest, so I'm not turning with them, I'm staying facing forward. So we're just gonna do a few, just like this, just to kind of get the blood flowing through our hips and our lower back. Beautiful, and we're gonna keep our knees dropped to the left side, and then we're gonna come up. So if we're leaning back, I want you to kind of walk your hands forward. You're gonna take your right leg and bring it back behind you, so we're gonna set up for that 90-90 position. So again, the front ankle is lined up with that front knee. So a nice straight line, 90 degrees. Also a 90 degree angle between the thighs. And the same thing with that back ankle in line with the knee as much as possible. I'm gonna press my hands into the floor and I'm gonna find length. So again, chest is proud. Another thing here we have to do is really important that you do an anterior pelvic tilt. So. Think about your pelvis here, you're holding on with your hands. Imagine it was filled with liquid and you just want to pour it forward. So just let all the contents spill. My tailbone sticks out, so I'm already activating more. I'm gonna feel the stretch a lot more doing this. Pull your right toes back towards your shin. From here, I'm gonna to try to start to reach forward, but almost as if I'm trying to take my belly and try to get it as far forward as I can over that shin. So I'm leaning forward with a nice flat back. And then I'm holding here. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Continue to find that stretch. Continue to pull yourself forward, lengthening through the spine. And just breathing into that hip. So you can get a little bit lower. From here, I want you to start to just move left to right. Very nice. So we're just kind of flossing from the left to the right. And this whole time, I'm not bending through my spine, I'm maintaining length. Keep going. Ideally, if you really wanna open up those hips, you should hold this stretch for about two minutes, just like static, but we don't have two minutes to hold today, so we're just gonna flow through it. Beautiful. From here, slowly as you inhale, you're gonna push back up. Beautiful. We're gonna do that one more time. Again, press those hands to the floor, reach the chest forward and up, tilt the tailbone. See if you can start to reach forward. Pull, 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 pull. Again, we're looking for that stretch through the outer left glute here and hip. And then you're holding. So as long as your spine doesn't collapse, you're gonna continue to get deeper into that stretch. 
Again, here feels good. Little flossing left to right. Very nice. Couple more. Ooh. So again, it's not big movements. They are intentional though. Beautiful. From here, you're gonna start to slowly come back up. You're gonna stay in this position. We're gonna work on that back leg now. So I want you to drive the foot into the floor, the inside edge, and we're gonna try to lift that knee off the ground. Imagine there's a little string pulling it forward. So if you're sitting up tall like this, and this is too hard, what you can do is you can lean to the side a little bit, take the right hand over. So this is gonna open up a little bit more space to work with. Or you can kind of just lean to the left side to be able to open more. If you are a little bit more open and you wanna work a little harder, you're gonna stand up in the same position, nice and tall, and then just start to open up as this knee drives away, my left knee is also driving into the floor. So I'm basically trying to make lots of space between my hips. They're going in opposite directions. Good, couple more. Working through it. Pausing at that top range, driving the foot into the floor. Hold, hold, hold for three, two, and one, from here, you're gonna keep this leg exactly where it is. I'm gonna start to now, if I have it yet, I'm gonna swing my right arm across. I'm gonna reach it back. So now I'm like open facing you guys. This leg is gonna continue to try to open until I can't go any further. So now to continue going, I have to start to lift my left knee off the ground. But as it lifts, my right knee continues to open. So imagine like they're magnets and they're repelling each other. And now I'm like fully open, nice big opening through the hips. Hello. And I'm gonna just make my way to the other side. So now my right knee is gonna to start to try to get towards the floor. This knee is coming for the ride, but it's like resisting. So it's making things real hard. And then slowly when the right knee comes down, now I'm gonna to start to slowly drop that left knee towards the floor, coming back into that position where I'm sitting up nice and tall. And then take a second just to set yourself up. My feet. Okay, and the same thing on this side. So just lining up that right ankle with the right knee. Same thing in the back. 90 degree angle between the thighs. 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle here. If it's too much, just bring it a little bit closer until you open things up. And the same thing here. Anchor those hands into the floor. I want to sit up nice and tall. Pull the right toes back. Tilt the tailbone out, um, your pelvis is anterior tilted, and then again, you're gonna start to pull yourself forward. You're pulling, 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 creating length, binding that stretch through the right glute, and then you're holding. Hold it, hold it, hold it, I'm just gonna turn. I don't know if this angle is better. Yeah, that's good too, okay. Keep holding. So we're on that right leg is forward, hopefully. If you did the other side, that's fine. Continue to pull, kind of get that belly button over towards that shin, bending through the elbows here, and again, nice and easy, you're just gonna shift side to side. Again, flossing through, <laughs> creating length. Small little movements, you continue to look for that stretch. Very nice, and then let's come to center. Squeeze, pull yourself back up. We're gonna do that one more time. Really driving this knee down towards the ground. Again, tilt the tailbone out, press into the floor, sitting up nice and tall, and now start to reach forward through the chest. Walk your hands by that knee, hold here. Woo. Toes are pulled towards my shin, feeling all through here. And then from here, bending the elbows slightly. Again, start to shift or floss left to right. Again, nice, slow, and control. Just looking for that stretch and working through it. Getting a little bit lower feels good. Continue to stick that tailbone out. 
The minute it curves in, the stretch is not gonna be as intense, so you really wanna stick it out. Almost there. Perfect, and then slowly pressing back up. We're gonna do what we did on the other side. Let me just turn so that it makes more sense this way. Again, from here, when you're sitting up tall, now we're gonna anchor and press the left foot into the floor, the inside edge, we're gonna start to pick up that left knee. Again, sitting up right like this is a little bit harder. If it's too much, just lean to the side and then just work through that rotation from this side. You're kind of just leaning towards the right side. Again, if you're sitting up tall, it's just gonna take a bit more core strength as well. Press those hands into the floor and a little lift through that knee up towards the ceiling, opening up as much as you can. This, left, this right knee is driving into the ground, so don't let it lift. A lot of work is being <laughs> done right now. So just move through it. Corkscrew through that hip. A couple more. And let's hold it at the top now. Hold. We're going to take now that left hand. We're going to reach back behind us. And then we're gonna continue to try to pull that knee, see if we can find a little bit more movement. From here, I can't go any further, so I'm gonna have to start to slowly lift my right knee off the ground. As it starts to lift, this keeps moving out to the side, coming all the way to center. Beautiful, and slowly you're gonna walk your hands. We're gonna start to extend the legs all the way out. Beautiful, start to slide forward. Just a little stretch here through the hamstrings. And then slowly inhale, coming back to center. Toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean forward. Yay. And then slowly come on up. Bring those legs together. Drop the knees side to side. Nice and easy here. Loosening up. How much better it feels now compared to that first time we did it. Awesome, guys. And that is our stretch for today. Hello, everyone that came late. I see you. I see you. Thanks for the waves. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stretch and mobility. Let me know how your spine, your hips, everything is feeling. Thank you for joining me and I will see you guys on Friday on City Shred. We're gonna be doing a lot of shoulder and upper body work, a lot of like wrists, elbows, do some ankles as well, the little guys. Um, and then if you guys want a little bit more of a challenge, tomorrow on my page we're doing, again, like a little balancing, kind of just more playful movement exploration. So 9am on my page. Otherwise, I will see you guys on Friday. Happy spine, low impact as well. Yay, good, awesome. Thank you guys for joining. Have a wonderful day. See you soon.